you go. You see all the mark. We said mark the spots where you have a lipoma and uh, bumpy here. You can see her entire arm is marked up. Uh, but uh, you have familial familial lipomata mm -hmm. is what you have. Familial lipomata, which means that you just make lots of lipomas, right? Mm -hmm. And you've got one right here that you keep bumping into things with on the computer and so forth, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to do that one first. And you've got scars. You've had lots of them taken off mm -hmm. and or removed, and you get more. It's not like they come back. You just get more. So we're going to take some out for you here because it's fun, right? <laughs> and you weren't busy today anyway, right? No, nope, not at all. Okay, so this is a little betadine. And then we'll follow that with an alcohol pad. Mm -hmm. You ready? I'm ready. A little cold spray. And what's she gonna feel, Zuri? She's gonna feel cold and a little pinch. Mm -hmm. okay. Stick sting in a burn. There you go. Stick sting in a burn. Sting in a burn. All right. There we go. And we're just gonna inject a little uh, one percent lidocaine here mm -hmm. with epinephrine, buffered, so it doesn't sting quite as much. Correct. Good. A little bit more. We'll make that bump even bigger, huh? Mm hmm I see that. Yeah, okay. Gummy Jean, I'm gonna hand that off to you. All right. There we go. That's oh, what I wow. forgot. <laughs> the retractable number 15 today. Be a marine uh, biologist. Mm -hmm. we'll make a little incision right there. The Swiss is my, uh, if my head blocks the camera, would you tell me? Okay, well, you're perfect the way you are right Everything's now. Everything's good? Yep. She said I was perfect the way I am. <laughs> That's amazing. Sure she like doesn't, the she way just doesn't are. know me very well, apparently. I don't care what they say. It doesn't matter what they say. No, Alexis told me many things. I don't believe her. No. <laughs> so how many videos you have online? About 900. Oh, wow. That's it? I'll have to go look them up. Um, okay. Maybe I should do that first. <laughs> We enjoyed it. We like making. We, we we just like it. We think it's fun mm -hmm. and uh, a little bit educational and. Oh, absolutely. But mostly, it's it's more medical voyeurism than anything else. Mm -hmm. People just like to watch this kind of stuff. Yeah. And we enjoy doing it, so we're like, okay, you want to watch it? We yep. Here you go. It. Yeah, absolutely. So there's our first. Yeah, one are they right attached there. in there? Uh, they'll have a loose <coughs> attachment and um, a vascular supply, a blood supply, mm. right? No. That must be why some of these are so blue. Yeah, or uh, they're very shallow if they're blue like that, yeah. Making this a little larger incision there. I like those retractable blades. You're welcome. A, oh, thank I you. I told her to order those for you. That was nice. Pardon so we're stamps. just uh, widening this a little bit mm -hmm. here so we can get that lipoma to come out. So when, how old were you when you had your first one removed? 16 years 16. old. 16, wow. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, this one's bigger. That's much bigger. Yeah. So we're gonna have to even make it wider. They look like little brains when they pop out. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. And if you feel any pain, the rule is you tell me, okay? I don't feel a thing. Good, I like that. All right, that should be wide enough. Look at that, it's starting to come out on its own right there now. There you go. smiley face in there. <laughs> then I like to just push on these and have them just kind of pop out. Like I wish it would make a noise like <laughs> 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 We could put some effect on it, right? Amazing. Yeah, put a little sound effect on that. That would be kind of fun. I'll turn the hemostat upside down and kind of grasp and give it a gentle tug. And sometimes they'll just come right out like that. You want to keep them and gersh your husband out? Oh, that's okay. <laughs> it, looks like, it looks like bubble gum to me. Gumby, don't chew that out. <laughs> no. Alright, now we'll put a and you know, you can go and say, well, wait, what's that right there? What that is just the connective tissue that was holding it in place. That's mm -hmm. not, that's not lipoma. So it's mm -hmm. not as if we didn't get it. It's, all. Not, a, it's not a little baby in there. No, it's not a baby lipoma. Although we think baby li lipoma, lipomata are cute. Now that's, <laughs> see, that's a much bigger needle. That's the kind of we needed the other day. Something, oh, when it comes to my kids, uh-uh, I can't watch. That's different.
because you feel like they're going to feel something mm -hmm. or be in pain or what have you. All right, Gumby G, I'm ready for a little snippy. Okay, one down. Put that over there because I touched your skin there. I like to stick right on my spot here. This is definitely looking like three to me. What do you think, Swiss? Was that interesting? It is interesting. I'll call four. Oh! Four? Oh, she got some big. Well, oh, you're saying the number that we're going to take out? Yeah. Gumby was talking about... The stitch. Gumby, you the stitch, how too. Many, yeah. How many stitches? Oh, you think I'm going to put four stitches in here? I said two because I know he's going to do three. Every time I call a number, he does one well, more than what I say. So now she, <laughs> she, Just to prove you wrong. Right. Well, and she, of she really tries. I'm going to remove the ink almost completely here. Thank you. All right. You think this scalpel is still sharp enough? Yeah. Oh, do we, do have, we have to numb it up for yes, please. I don't know why she makes me do that. All right. I was just going to go ahead and just take a little cold spray, a little what you're going to feel, Swiss. Sixteen burn. All right. Okay, almost. <laughs> Sixteen burn. Sixteen and a burn. Yeah. Say and. You just said yeah, sixteen. Yeah, drag it. Sixteen and a burn. <laughs> oh, wow, she's showing off now. Yeah, for Gonzo. Yeah, poor Gonzo. Who's Gonzo? Uh, she was. Uh, she's an infamous medical assistant who used to cut up a lot. Mhm. Mm and uh, she's a lot of fun. Not that you're not fun, Gumby Jean. Don't get me wrong. I get it. I know, I'm the serious one. <laughs> that in there. No bleeding. So this is about 5.8x. What's the camera say? Swiss? 4.8. 4.8? Mm -hmm. Okay, so almost 5. But the light makes it makes it better. The light does improves mm -hmm. it. It sure does. So you've got lots of veins. We all have veins, right? But yours, since you're such a thin person, yours really show up, Bumpy. <laughs> I think that's what we're gonna put on her profile now. Bumpy. Bumpy. <laughs> Don't do bumpy, that. Bumpy. Bumpy. <laughs> that would be mean. Look at that one. Looks like it just wants to jump out. Maybe. Maybe. I might have to cut a little bit more. You think so? I have to wonder. Maybe I will have to make that a little bit more. Say, come get me if you can. Not like it's hiding. They're stubborn. Skin's tougher than people think to cut. You're coming out of the screw. Yeah. Nope, oh, there you go. So he was hiding in there. Mm -hmm. Way in there. See, it was as big as the other one, but it felt smaller. Yeah. Just connective tissue right there. Okay, so here we go. Put it more down. Put it down with the other one. Okay, let's get some stitches in. Get down with number two. How many stitches, Swiss? On that one? That one, I believe you on three. Do you now? Somehow I gotta make her wrong. I'm not sure what I'm doing. <laughs> Which way? It's too far up. Come down a little bit. 
There you go. Okay. All right. Gummy G left us. <laughs> Maybe. All right. Now, not so sure. Right there. Don't stab the doctor. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's get a let's get a bandage on this one. I think that'll be good right there. Nice and snug. Okay. So let's stop here. You just don't want to get the stuff on your clothes. Oh, no. It just does not want to come out. This one's going to be a challenge, I can just tell you. You know, a larger one right there. Mm -hmm. And here's the problem, is that like you and I discussed about this one, is yeah. that you have a vein running right across there. So, we know, we know about it. Actually, you got veins running across all of these. How's your view? It's perfect. All right. And we're going to anesthetize this time, too. It just seems like it's a lot of anesthesia. Oops. Let's start up in this area. There you go. A little stick this time. Okay, good. Stick stinging around. It stings a little bit when it goes in, doesn't it? Didn't feel it on these two. But you did the on sting, this one? Uh-huh, just a little bit. I'm going to have to put more in this one because it's a larger area. Yeah, one there, one there, right there. What's our magnification? Is it still 4.8? Yes, 4.8. Okay. Okay. Mix it a lot better. Mm. Do you come across a lot of patients that have multiples in one area? Um, no, that's a great question, too. Can you give me a little culture right here? Yeah. I just had to be that case. You just had to, you know, we, what, what usually happens is, is we get people that have, that's enough, well, that's enough, is they'll have multiples, but they'll be, you know, they're, they're spread. Mm -hmm. you know, hold off on the scalpel. I know you're excited. We're going to go a little <laughs> bit deeper on this one. Try to slide in there a little bit more because we're far more likely to, to go deep on this. You're gonna feel a little bit of this one. You okay? Mm -hmm. And again over here a little bit deeper. A little bit bigger needle, so a little longer needle, so we can get deeper in there. Okay. I'm gonna hand that off. You okay, Bumpy? Mm -hmm. uh, are you having some reflux? I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, are you sure? We can mix you up a little, little uh, you know, a little green goddess, a little magic drink. And then we'll try to slide underneath, okay? And that's kind of what you want me to do, right? You're the doctor. Oh, boy. I knew You've I was got all the experience. I knew I was going to hear that. <laughs> so we'll make a little wider incision. Every time somebody says I'm the doctor, I try to remind them they're the patient. <laughs> You're the patient. I'm just, you know, I'm just the doctor. Thank you. Your stomach growling there, Swiss? It, it was. Oh, wow. Was that your stomach growling? I didn't know it was growling. Are you hungry? <gasps> I'm hungry, but I didn't even know it was growling. Well, I heard a growl. Could have been my stomach. Probably. Couldn't, Maybe it was bumpy. Can't blame yeah. the patient. That's just... Not me. Can't blame bumpy. Just because she's a little bumpy doesn't mean you can blame the growling on her. That's normal fat right there. I went 
haven't saw that. Have you seen any movies lately? Uh, maybe on Netflix. I but went, to the actual movies, no. I went and saw 1917 the other day. How was that? I was a little bit disappointed. Oh, no. I really was. I mean, it was good in a lot of ways. But it was also disappointing. They didn't really develop the characters very well. Mm -hmm. And for a war movie, there wasn't much war. Mm. I was expecting a lot of loud noises and cannons and you know, screams and things like that. Mm -hmm. I just didn't, didn't really get it. Didn't deliver. Didn't deliver. We saw Endgame finally on Netflix the other night. What'd you think? Well, there was one scene where I was questioning it, and I don't like it when they don't, when the movie doesn't run smoothly from beginning to end. It's, it's a little bit choppy, and you question how mm -hmm. could that have possibly happened. Right. Um, and I didn't care for the ending. Do you didn't like the ending of Endgame? No. I didn't like the fact that Johanna's character completely died. Yeah. There right there. That's the inferior one. We cut it loose. There we go. Oh, they are attached. It's sort of like a... looks like a botworm coming out right there. <laughs> Did you know you had that in there? No. <laughs> I gotta admit, I, I didn't think it was that large. Big one. I think with, with that's actually two of them because it was stretching across like that. Mm -hmm. I think that's the two spots yeah. we were feeling there. That's the biggest one so far. Look at that. Yeah, that that was this whole area mm -hmm. there. That's all of it. Wow. That's what we were feeling that we thought was in three different right. places. It was just one big one flattened out and it was poking up in different areas. Mm -hmm. But honestly, I think you have so many of these under your skin in different areas that we could probably just keep cutting and... I know. Okay, so we're gonna stop here and put a stitch in. I don't think you would mind doing her again. We'll do it again. We're gonna work, she's got some on the right arm. This is the mm -hmm. left arm. So we already said, well, we'll... We thought we were going to have a little cluster here, but oh, no. instead we had a giant, it looked like a worm come out of there. It looked like a little bot worm jump. <laughs> I've seen, back when I used to watch these videos every once in a while, I've seen some of those bot worms. I was really fascinated by how somebody could have something like that. And they would say that they could feel them moving and everything. I said, that is so creepy. Ooh, but, but like, they do. How does it even get in underneath the skin? Or well, it's like a little fly bites them. And they don't really feel it. Or they do feel a little sting. But okay. it happens quickly. And uh, a little egg is laid. <clears throat> yes, that's exactly what happens. And it grows into a, a larvae, right? And then it gets larger and larger just slowly. And usually they're in the scalp. But... Once they, just before they come out of the skin, they, they start moving around quite a bit. So people will go and they can feel them and they go see the doctor. And they're like, yeah, you know, just wait a little while. It'll come on out. Oh! And they, and they do. They, they sort of crawl out. And they're really awful. <laughs> come oh, okay, she's ready. Dear. She's ready. Yeah. That's so good. So basically, it lays the... the the yeah. fly lays it into any living organism as a host. Right, it's a host. They don't have those things. We don't <laughs> what, have them what here. What part of the world? <laughs> yeah, what part of the world? Is... Not, not ours. <laughs> I'm not sure it's not on my visit list. <laughs> Central America, I believe, or oh. Brazil, maybe South mm -hmm. America, some areas. But probably yes. deep in the jungle areas. You, I would... you want to believe. <laughs> oh. Mostly urban, kind of uh, touristy areas. No. Wow. Um, okay. No, but... Um, yeah, it, uh, they, they're real. People, but it's almost always somebody that comes back from a vacation and they know what it is. And mm -hmm. Like, this will be fun to watch kind of thing. Told you, know, you we're going to go for five. You don't hear much about the Zika virus anymore. No. Mm -mm. Maybe they got that under control. Maybe. I know a lot of... Here in the, the States. 
Yeah, on our side. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I know it's still a big problem in, mm -hmm. in parts of Africa, but there are other diseases that are big problems too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Plague is still a problem. Oh my gosh. Okay, ready for a bandage. So this whole situation in, in Australia is just it's unbelievable. Awful. So I've got you scheduled for a virtual visit, but you were telling me that you are out of vitamins. Are you mean? Do you mean you're out on Meta Seven? Yes. You're out of Meta Seven. And I, I'm out of them, and I need them. I've been out of them, of them for two weeks. Yeah. And when I tell you, I can honestly see and feel. I just feel the difference. I feel the difference in my body. Mm -hmm. It makes a big difference, and I need those vitamins in my life. I need them. I'm going to help you out. That's not a problem. We can get you hooked up. Okay. Do you uh, do you notice that it improves your concentration? It improves my concentration. Not only my concentration, just my overall physical. Just Because in the past, I think I even mentioned to you once before how I would feel so fatigued and just, I, I, I can honestly say I have not felt that on those vitamins. And I hadn't been having those headaches either. Wow, that's really great. Well, I yes, appreciate you sharing that with me. I'm, if you don't mind, I'm going to use that uh, use your your recording as uh, uh, on my YouTube video. Can I do that? Oh, that would be great. Wonderful. That's great. Yes, Thanks. because they are truly good. They really are. You're They're awesome, good vitamin. Dolly. Awesome. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, so you've been taking Cocoa Skin. Been taking Cocoa Skin and uh, Meta Seven Wonderful. for probably a year and a half now. Okay. Love them both. I highly recommend them. My skin is great. I feel moisturized. I, I'm, they're wonderful. Take your hat off for me. Oh, I want everybody to see how pretty your skin is. My hair is oily. Oh, your hair is wonderful. So, have you noticed that you've lost some crow's feet or anything like that in particular? Or A little bit, a little yeah. A bit? little bit. Okay, all right. Because you do look like I mean, you're, you're glowing almost. You have a real natural look about you. So, well, wonderful. I'm glad you're liking the Cocoa Skin and the Meta 7. Take them both. Highly mm. recommend it. Thanks. <laughs> Make sure to check out Coco Skin Plus for thicker nails, healthier skin, and better hair. And check out Meta 7 for more energy throughout the day. There are Amazon links in the description below.